over the last few months, I've had to spend a lot of my time helping members of our community who have been affected by malicious backdoors. Now this bad code has been added to leaks across many forums, probably all of the leak forums and discords available. So if you've ever downloaded a leak or something, I want you to be careful. Here I've downloaded a bunch of scripts from one of the forums. Now I'm going to run my code called byspy.py, which I've just created for you motherfuckers for free to check these codes. So I'm going to open up this and we're going to scan the scripts that we've just fat downloaded. OK, so I've downloaded all these scripts and let's see what we can find. Now you can scan all the scripts in a folder or you can scan an individual script. It's completely up to you. So I've just scanned all of these quickly with my code scanner. Now, as you can see, we found a few things. Now, let's have a look here. We can see that in the mechanic script, there's actually a backdoor. So here we can see that some motherfucker has added this. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to send a request to someone's website, which is automatically going to send code back to your server and load that and run that code. This code could be anything from adding a new admin to creating a new remote desktop to running I don't know, fucking crypto miners. And you may think running things on a virtual machine is going to keep you safe. It won't okay your local machine can still be infected so going through the list we can also see that this life invader has thrown up a flag let's have a look okay so for some reason it's going to be checking our personal ip or server ip our tx admin server name host name project name yeah okay so this is another thing that's interesting is getting all of our details like our server builds our ip and that's going to send that somewhere so that's another thing that we'd want to check out so, uh, yeah, let's have a look through this list, what else we can find. Okay, so here, by the way, it shows you the line numbers as well. So it tells you exactly what line the bad code is on. And here we can see that it's the same domain as the mechanic script. So this motherfucker is just spamming the forums with loads of scripts and just adding his backdoors in. Now, there is a way to see what code he's loading. Uh, I'll cover that in the next video. If you want us to punish these people, hit the like button and I'll make a video finger blasting these guys and I'll show you how to do it. Um, but this is just going to cover how we scan these scripts because there's a lot of code out there already that will scan your server but once this script's loaded in your server it's too late you need to find these first so why is my scanner a good idea so if we open up one of these scripts and we have a look at the js file you're naturally going to see that it has a lot of https's okay that's because a javascript file will often use things like listeners from html to the js to, and it'll send it to the client is how the script works to keep this in english for you you're going to naturally find a lot of HTTPS TTPS's. If you were to open up the script folder in Visual Studio Code and try manually searching through each folder for the HTTPS, you're going to notice that there is a lot of finds with the same word. And that's because how the script's made, we have to use JavaScript to send to Lua example. So my code scanner has a whitelist, which is basically filtering out all of these things. So things like Tebex, Discord, uh, anything simple that may not be related to a backdoor or malicious code is instantly whitelisted and filtered out. This is fully open source, which allows you to fully edit this script to make it and tweak it to how you like it. I've only ever seen one other version of this available and it was 5M Guard, but that's designed to run in your server once the script's already ran and by then it's too late. OK, if you've run this backdoor, it's too late. You could have a new fucking admin user on your host who's just activated remote desktop from his IP and you're screwed. So basically with this script, it's just designed to keep you safe. If you download a bunch of scripts or your server, just chuck them in the folder, run it and have a look. You can edit the design, the features. I've added loads of comments so you can get an idea of what this script does. I've made this script in Python, hence the name byspy.py, because Python is so simple. It is used by children and it also can be used for anything. Now, if you just try opening the document and just running it, you're going to get an error as shown here. So you do need to ensure the entire folder has been opened prior to running the PySpy. So here you can see I've opened the entire folder. I can now simply run the PySpy.py and it will open my code scanner. I will, you know, I'll look to add and tweak this along. And if you want us to punish these people, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and I will fuck them up. See you in the next one.